Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube. I'm so psyched that you decided to drop by. Please remember to hit subscribe and let's get into it. I know, how did I quit smoking? The first thing I did is actually make up my mind. I realized that I wanted to stop this problem that I had. And it was a problem because it had me out of breath and nothing good really came from smoking for me. I mean, yeah, when I started smoking, it used to feel like it was de-stressing. But then every time I make two steps, I'm out of breath and there was nothing good about that feeling. I'm guessing you probably feel the same way right now. And smoking actually is actually destroying us on the inside. And it could harm the ones close to us. So making up your mind is the first step that you need to take. Everything after comes really easy. The next step was giving myself a date as to when I wanted to quit. Then, I went with all girls night because that's when everybody makes resolutions and supposedly makes drastic changes in their lives. So that was probably about two months when, well, all years was about two months after I made up my mind. So which means I had two months to smoke up a storm. The next step was I said to myself, I'm going to smoke until I get sick. Yes, you heard right. I said that. Was it a good idea? No. But I did it anyway. I honestly smoked two packs of cigarettes until my throat was blistered up. I know that's kind of psychotic. But it's what helped me, honey. And that's what I'm doing, sharing with you guys the crazy mess that I did to help me. Next day, I couldn't swallow anything. My throat was really sore. Then I had to do the next step, which was give my friends a break. Yes, I needed to stay away from my smoker friends because when you're around people who are still smoking and you're trying to stop, you only just slide back into your same habits. After I did that, it definitely became a bit easier for me. Then I started drinking coffee to cover up the cravings for the cigarettes. And I avoided my smoking triggers like partying and liming and drinking. I gave that a break. I think it's absolutely important to recognize what are your smoking triggers because you need to get rid of your triggers. That's imperative. I continuously prayed for God to help me just, you know, not fall back into that smoking habit. And I believe with all my heart that he answered my prayers because I did not fall back into that bad habit that I have. So, well, had. <laughs> so if this helps you guys, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for viewing.